Adam F. Helmer, also known as John Adam Helmer and Hans Adam Helmer, was an American Revolutionary War hero among those of the Mohawk Valley and surrounding regions of New York State. He was made nationally famous by Walter D. Edmonds' popular 1936 novel Drums Along the Mohawk with its depiction of Adam Helmer's run of September 16, 1778 to warn the people of German flats of the approach of Joseph Brandt and his company of Indians and Tories. Background Adam Helmer was born in German Flats, New York to Maria Barbara Kass and George Friedrich Helmer, who was born on June 9, 1706 in Neustadt and der Weinstraße, a city in the Rhineland Palatinate region in southwestern Germany. G.F. Helmer emigrated to America sometime before 1710 and eventually settled in one of the numerous Palatine farming communities on the south side of the Mohawk River in central New York. As late as 1774, this Palatine district and others in the area widely supported British control. But with the death of the powerful loyalist Mohawk Valley landowner Sir William Johnson and news of the Declaration of Rights by the Continental Congress, anti-British sentiments began to surface and a Tryon County Committee of Safety was organized. This and the news of Continental Army resistance at the Battle of Lexington and Concord encouraged the remaining Johnson family and other loyalists to fortify their properties and to recruit Iroquois to side with the British. This in turn prompted the colonists in 1775 to organize a militia under the command of Colonel Nicholas Herkimer. Early the next year, Herkimer aided General Philip Schuyler who was sent by Congress to disarm the Loyalists. Many of the Loyalists and sympathizing Iroquois led by William Johnson's son Sir John Johnson escaped to Canada where they began to organize to take back the Mohawk Valley holdings. During the summer of 1776 Colonel Herkimer allowed his regular militia to return to their farms, however, about one out of every 15 soldiers, including Lieutenant Adam Helmer, was assigned to ranger duty. Helmer was assigned as a scouting captain John Brett Bakes Company, Battle of Oriskany. In the summer of 1777, Herkimer, by then a brigadier general in the provincial militia, was warned by friendly Oneidas of the impending siege of Fort Stanwix by British Lieutenant Colonel Barry Street. Ledger, General Herkimer ordered Tryon County Militia to assemble at Fort Dayton to go to the aid of Colonel Peter Gansevoort at Fort Stanwix. G.F. Helmer and Adam Helmer's brother Johann Frederick Helmer, as part of the Tryon County Militia, were called up. Herkimer sent three scouts, Captain Hans Mark de Muth, Hans Joost Foltz, and Lieutenant Adam Helmer to Fort Stanwix to relay the news to Colonel Gansevoort. Pressured by his subordinate commanders on August 6, General Herkimer reluctantly and prematurely set out to attack Street, Ledger's army. While passing through a ravine, they were ambushed by British regulars, Tories, and Indians under the command of Joseph Brandt and John Butler, thus starting what would become known as the Battle of Oriskany. Adam Helmer lost both his father G.F. Helmer and his brother Johann Frederick Helmer in the battle. Helmer, the fittest of the three scouts, reached Fort Stanwix with the message ahead of the other two having traversed swampy terrain and floated downriver when a severe storm flooded his route. News of the Oriskany battle arrived shortly after Helmers did, and Gansvort ordered an attack on the British encampments. Some combination of the weather and Gansevoort's attack contributed to the retreat of the British from the Oriskany battlefield back to their camps, surrounding the fort. In any case, Herkimer's troops were able to escape to await reinforcements. Herkimer himself was wounded in the fight, returned to his home and died soon after. Gansevoort refused to submit to the siege, and the British withdrew from the area with the news that Benedict Arnold had arrived at Fort Dayton with reinforcements.
Adam Helmer's run. In September 1778, L.T. Helmer and eight scouts under his command were sent to the Anadilla River Valley to spy on Joseph Brandt's company of Indians and Tories who were encamped at Anadilla near the confluence of the Anadilla and Susquehanna Rivers. It was feared that Brandt would send a raiding party north to the Mohawk Valley during the harvest season to forcefully obtain stores for the winter. Ahead, when Helmer's scouts reached Edmiston Manor, the farm of Persificar, just north of what is now South Edmiston, they were attacked by a large group of Brandt's men, apparently part of the feared raiding party on its way north. Several of the scouts were killed, but Helmer managed to escape. Helmer took off running to the northeast, through the hills, towards Schuyler Lake and then north to Andrewstown where he warned his sister's family of the impending raid and obtained fresh footwear. He also warned settlers at Columbia and Patrice Corners, most of whom then fled to safety at Fort Dayton. When Helmer arrived at the fort, severely torn up from his run, he told Colonel Peter Bellinger, the commander of the fort, that he had counted at least 200 of the attackers en route to the valley. The straight line distance from Carr's farm to Fort Dayton is about 30 miles, and Helmer's winding and hilly route was far from straight. It was said that Helmer then slept for 36 hours straight. During his sleep, on September 17, 1778, the farms of the area were destroyed by Brandt's raid. The total loss of property in the raid was reported as 63 houses, 59 barns, full of grain, 3 grist mills, 235 horses, 229 horned cattle, 279 sheep, and 93 oxen. Only two men were reported killed in the attack, one by refusing to leave his home when warned. Three days later Helmer led another group of militia back to the car farm on the Anadilla, discovered the bodies of three of his scouts and buried them at that site. The fate of the other five scouts is not known. Helmer also served in the New York State levies under Colonel Louis Dubois. Personal, Helmer married Anna Bellinger and sired ten children, Frederick, Margaret, Anna, Adam, Peter, Elizabeth, Catherine, David, Maria, Barbara, and Eve. Adam Helmer died on April 9, 1830 in the town of Brutus in Cayuga County, New York. Helmer in novel and film. Adam Helmer was an important but fictionalized character in Edmund's novel, Drums Along the Mohawk. Although Helmer's military actions were generally portrayed with accuracy, including his famous run, Edmund's description of his person varies from historic description. The book pictures Helmer as a large, unschooled, bachelor womanizer with long blonde hair, while historic descriptions indicate he was a lean 150 pounds. Married farmer, seeming to have more in common with the book's main character, Gil Martin. In John Ford's 1939 film adaptation of the novel, Helmer is portrayed by Ward Bonders, Adam Hartman. Helmer's run was omitted from the film and replaced with a run by Gil to get reinforcements from the nearest fort. The run is the heroic high point of the film.